Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this Hurricanes career mode. Our next game is against the Chiefs, who are in second at the moment. So whoever wins this match will definitely be in first place. But we're going to make a couple changes to the squad first. Right, I have made the changes to the squad. Let's get right into this match against the Chiefs. Welcome to another round of Super Rugby. These two teams are pretty evenly matched, and it could easily go either way. Justin Marshall is with me here. Great rugby, hopefully, coming up here, Justin. Absolutely looking forward to it. It's a good Right, here we go. The game against the Chiefs. They are at home this time, the Chiefs. But we have made a couple changes to our starting lineup. Karefi playing six. Now Matt Todd is going to be playing seven. And we have got Artie Savia playing eight. That is pretty much the only change that we have made. And also Pollard is now our goal kicker instead of Geordie Barrett. So hopefully with those changes we will be able to win this game nice and easy against the Chiefs. Damian McKenzie to kick off for the Chiefs here. He has kicked long. Who has got it? Perinara lines it up. Oh, straight away. Close line from Nankavell and Alex Nankavell is going to the bin already. The game's only been going about maybe 10 seconds. And he's already off for 10. Right, we are going to kick for touch here. Oh, it's an ugly looking wind here. In Waikato, but has this ball... Yes, it has found touch. Pollard loves to have it only just go out. But he is happy enough with that kick, Andre Pollard. Now the line out. It would be very good for us to win this. Dane Coles looks like he's done the job there. No, Brody Retallick steals it in the line out. Lala off the back, fires it out to Sam Kane, who is tackled hard by Todd, and then Fafita. Oh, Brad Webber's found a bit of a gap. Oh, good tackle from Laumapi on Cruden there. Karpik has a run, but is tackled. Webber to Harris, who offloads it. Savi has taken that well. And once again, tell you what, is he going to the bin as well? Yes, he is. Angus Tarval is now off the field as well as Alex Nankavell. They're down to 13 here, the Chiefs. Oh, what do we do? We've got to kick for touch, don't we? Yes, we could take the three, but if we get... Hopefully this ball goes out bollard once again. It's very close, but it is a good kick. Yeah, if we can get a try here while they're down to 13. That could be very useful. Here's a chance. Oh, it's a little bit on their side, and if Retallick was able to get that first one, he should be able to steal that, but he didn't. Perinara out to Laumapi. They won't have as many in the back line. Oh, that needed a little bit more. Pollard out to Chisel and Colby. Has he got enough base? Yeah, put it down. No. He's just short of the line there, Chisel and Colby. He's lost it. Yeah, it was a bit of a fun. Perinara out to Savia. Offload to Andre Pollard and we scored. I'm not sure what the commentators were on about. They said that Chisel and Colby lost that ball. I think he just sprung back to his feet while he was supposed to be lying down in the tackle. But nonetheless, Andre Pollard has scored that try. Chisel and Colby almost gets over the line. What does he do here? Does he stand up? Yeah, he just leaves the breakdown, Chisel and Colby. But it was Savio who passed to Andre Pollard, who scores the first try of the match. But yeah, I'm not sure whether Chisel and Colby is supposed to stand up when he was the man who gives the ball out the back. He just kind of pops out the side, tries to get back into position. But Perinara Savia to Pollard, and we score the first try of this match while they were down to 13 men. Andre Pollard now to take this kick. That looks like it should be alright. Right, so Nankavell should be back from the bin now, but Tarval will still be there. It's been 10 minutes. Here he is, but Pollard kicking that one, so now the score is 7-0 to the Hurricanes. Which is what we like to see Damian McKenzie kicking off once again. Next time the ball goes out, I believe... Oh, no, it's bounced. Oh, it's taken well by Aaron Cruden, the offload. They say it wasn't a good option. It almost worked. Chisel and Colby back to his feet, though. Rips the ball away. Armstrong out to Savia. Out to Fafita. Pollard. One more to Ryan Crotty. 
Ben Lamb behind him. No, oh, he's kept it in play. No, and that ball is out. Sadly, Ben Lamb was just that little bit too close behind him. He'll be wanting to make amends for leaving his mates a man short. Right now, Tarval is back from the bin. So we were only able to get those seven points while they were off. Have we stolen? No, not quite. Almost had that one. The Chiefs trying to go for a bit of a maul here. Tarval out to Harris. That's a long pass. It's found. Eli Marlo on the wing. Goes to Damian McKenzie who tries to break free. Lel Mape if he steals that and we can get this out the back line. They don't have a fullback at the moment because no. But it has been stolen now. Aaron Cruden has a run. Tackled by Armstrong. But yeah, Damian McKenzie was tackled. So we almost had the chance to get a back line movement going. perinara has got that one now. We're going to kick for touch here. We're going to use the win to our advantage. Good kick from Perinara there. Has found touch in the Chiefs side of halfway. But the Chiefs, they look like they're a bit dangerous with ball in hand. I'm going to be honest, they look like they could score at any moment here. So we're going to be... Oh no, that doesn't line that up. We're going to have to be defending well, is all I'm going to say. Cruden throws the long pass. And once again, they are passing it round here, the Chiefs. Oh no. Put down by Boshier. Lobby pass. Ben Lamb to Fafita. One more. Who's got it now? Adi Savia does. Piranara to Pollard. One more to Armstrong. Crotty. Out to Jizzle and Colby. Offload. No, that looks forward by a mile. But it was knocked on by the Chiefs. So we are going back for the scrum. Lachlan Boshier unable to hold that ball. This is a good attacking position from the scrum. Set. There's some definite power going on in the scrums. Right, we have won that scrum. What do we do? Piranara off the back, I'm going to try. Fires it out to Cheslin Colby. He hasn't quite got the pace to get past Eli Marlow. Fafita plays halfback. Goes to Armstrong, who's been very busy this game so far. Piranara out to Pollard. No, it was intercepted. They were coming up fast. Weaver. Takes it out of the back. Oh, Ben Lamb shunted off by Lalala there, but Perinara with the tackle. Ardron, picks it out Ardron passes to Boshier with a good run up the middle that time. The Chiefs will want to score before the end of this first half. Look at that run from Retallick. We're up to 37 minutes though, so they will have to do it very soon, but it looks like they could. Good tackle once again. Matt Todd almost stealing that one. Harris around the side of the ruck. Goes to Sam Kane, who's hit hard by Armstrong. He's had a very good game so far, James Armstrong, for the Hurricanes. Brad Weber passes to Boshia. Oh, it's been put down by the Chiefs winger, though. And we are going to be going to half time. The score only 7 0 to the Hurricanes at this point. Oh, what's happening? Did you see what was happening there with Nathan Harris's neckies? He's got a weird glitch going on. I've seen that glitch before. It's quite a funny one. Hopefully we see more of it in the second half. The position's very even. Tackle's very even. They've had more territory. Handling errors. We have had double. And we've won two scrums. But they've had those two yellow cards. So they've got a couple of players who are on thin ice. If anyone else does a high tackle, it could be a straight red. Tarnished by those two yellow cards. But Andre Pollard to kick this one off. We have kicked long as Andre Pollard. The kick -off up. Good this tackle from Dane Coles there. Oh, I must have gotten just a little bit too excited. And unfortunately, I have given away that penalty. What is Damian McKenzie going to do here? He is kicking for touch. Oh, is it going to come back round though? Yes, it is. It has stayed in because of that one. Chisel and Colby now running. Oh, Pollard. It's a back line that is not working very well at all. And the Chiefs have got that ball back. Good tackle on Sam Kane by Perinara. Brad Weber to Boshier to Nathan Harris. It was tackled. And he the oh, good hit oh, from Piranara on his opposite number there. He's been hit hard. Sam good defence. Oh, I thought that was for Fafita's ball there. Harris. 
Certainly close. Carpet has a go. The Chiefs have had pretty good ball retention in this game so far. And once again, Perinara on Weber. Is that enough to win us the ball now? Yes, it is. We have got that one back. 50 minutes gone in this match so far. And they're doing a great job of it so Dane far. Goals out to Ben moving. Lamb who tries a little step but doesn't quite work out for him. They haven't got a fullback though so I'm going to just... No, Perinara took way too long to kick that one. And now the Chiefs have an advantage here. My defence is going to have to keep doing very well or else the Chiefs could break through. Which they look like they will at some stage in this match. The advantage is over now, but we have got that ball back. Right, I'm going to do that kick this time. Oh no, it's going to find it on the full. No! And that means we are going right back. So unfortunately, because I was that keen to do that kick, and it really wasn't there for it. So the Chiefs still have us under a lot of pressure. It's looking like at this rate, we may only be able to win this game 7-0. And it might not even be nil. Oh, Al Mape out to Jezel and Colby who's found a gap up the middle. Is the result of this match about to change? Brad Weber is not going to catch Jezel and Colby. And we have scored. And as I was saying, that we may not be able to score again. That man, the danger man, Jezel and Colby, manages to score for the Hurricanes. Pollard to Laomapi. Nice pass to Chisel and Colby. They were expecting us to go wider through Eli Marlo off. And because of that, Chisel and Colby pick the gap and scores between the posts. Andre Pollard to kick this one. So this, an easy conversion right in front of the posts. Shouldn't have any issues with this Andre Pollard and it is straight over, which now makes the score 14-0. I'm a lot happier with that scoreline than 7-0 because it just seemed like the Chiefs were going to score. But Damian McKenzie to kick this one off once again. He's gone long. Perinara lines it up, has taken it well. Oh, it's hit hard by Damian McKenzie though. And they have turned it over here, the Chiefs. And he did it well. Weaver gets the ball away. They're going for a drive here. I have managed to stop that one though. It's a bit with the hit on Weber. One more offload. Eli Marlow isolated out on the wing. And once again, Cheslin Colby gets back to his feet, steals that one. Fafita with the no-look pass. It's very dangerous for this back line, but it has somehow worked out. Ben Lamb chucks one off. Tries to offload. That was not a good decision. Right, we are able to kick this one. I'm hoping to get it right this time, but I have been hit hard, which means I got no distance on it. Now they are going for another drive, the Chiefs. They want to score very soon. Oh, and they might up the middle. Someone, anyone, can someone stop them? No, they can't. Where, or what, should I say, was our fullback doing there? It wasn't Geordie Barrett, but it was someone else who was just standing still watching the game. Wasn't very good at all. But the kick in the end put us under a lot of pressure. We didn't get any distance on it. Cruden out to Nankavel. It's not going to show it. But we did have a man standing in the middle of the field. I think it may have been Colby. And unfortunately, because of that big gap, the Chiefs were able to score. And now this game is just that little bit closer. It's an easy kick. Yeah, Chisel and Colby it was who was just standing still. Not really paying attention, and because of that, the Chiefs now back into this game. And they still have another 10 minutes where they could score. They are, of course, in second place, so they're a decent team. Pollard to kick off. We've got nine minutes to survive at this point, is how I'd describe it. Oh, Andre Pollard really wanted to intercept that one, but Boshier manages to hang on. Now he gets the ball away. I don't think the Chiefs will be kicking this. I think they'll try and run it out. Although, from here you almost have to kick, don't you? Karpik out to the winger, which is Eli Marlow. Good tackle from Chisel and Colby there, though. That's an interesting choice from Ardron there. And he has been forced into touch. That is a bit of a lifeline 
for the Hurricanes because now we can stall a bit of time down this end of the field. Not that might be too straight. Yes, it was. Stolen. The lineouts have been very strong from the Chiefs so far this game. They are offloading here. Can we keep them down this end of the field for the rest of this game? It's all oh, that tackle had to be made by Chisel and Colby there. If he did not, they were scoring their second try. This game is too close for my liking at this point. But the timer is just about up. And it is, which means all we have to do is get this ball. Or have them make a mistake. And we win this game. Karpik tries to run up the middle. Dane Coles hasn't made the tackle though. Itzebeth steals it. Goes to Coles. One more to Crotty. We might as well try and score the try. Lau Mapi's going to do it. And we have scored. Unfortunately for the Chiefs, they didn't really deserve to lose by this much. But now there will be that two try difference. Lau Mape scores after the 80th minute. Lalala tries to offload. Itzebeth steals it. Coles to Crotty. Out to Laomapi who had good acceleration and managed to outrun them all. And he scores. So when you think about it, Itzebeth was the reason that try happened. Pollard scored the first. Colby scored the second. So the South Africans in this Hurricane side really working well together. Getting us a lot of our points. Speaking of points, Andre Pollard, can he add another two to this? Yeah, that should be alright. Yep, straight down the middle from Andre Pollard. And because of that, the end score will be 21 to the Hurricanes, 7 to the Chiefs. Now that was, that was probably one of the harder games we've played. Of course we lost our first game of the season. But this one here, we managed to do very well to win it. Because the Chiefs played very well. And I look forward to seeing where they end up on the final table. The end score was 21-7. Our tries came from Pollard, Laomapi and Colby. Our new kicker Pollard able to convert all three. Nankavell scored for them. And McKenzie converted. But it wasn't enough for the Chiefs. Possession, they stole it in that second half. Still have more territory. And Handlinger is worth 13. We're going to have to work on that. I say it every time, and it never happens. But one day it is going to cost us a game. And hopefully it's not one of those finals games at the end of the season. Right, so our next game is against the Crusaders. And at the moment, looking at it, they are actually last on the New Zealand Conference. They've only won two games. So the next game against them, they'll definitely be wanting to get some points on the board. But hopefully we can stop them. Because they will be one of those teams you don't want to play in a playoff game. Because they are a very strong side. They may not show it in the points at the moment. But they do show it on the field. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.